This video is powered by CardMarket.com. What's cracking, YouTube's Jobber here. Gonna be doing an opening of two of the 2017 Mega Tins. I actually never did any openings of this because, uh, yeah, we're going through a lot of personal things there. So we end up missing these, but these are super epic looking. So I had to purchase some. Got this amazing Kaiba tin and the amazing Yugi and Pharaoh tin. Gorgeous art on them. Super excited about cracking this open. And if you are as much as I am, please drop a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and bell. You'll be entered into a contest to win a random free booster pack. You also have to follow me on Instagram. I post little sneak peek pictures like the thumbnail of the video. 12 hours to a day before I actually post the video. Not always, but sometimes I do. And uh, I'm trying to I'm gonna be pretty consistent about that. So it'd be pretty awesome. Also gives you a place. So when you are the winner, and if you win the booster pack, just message me on Instagram with your address and I will ship out your random them a booster pack and that's it so again thumb give this video a thumbs up post a comment down below subscribe and bell bell gives you notifications for future videos and follow me on instagram and uh yeah then the winner all you have to do is uh just uh, send me a message with your address and i will also uh put this all these little details in the comments in the next video so you'll see when uh if you are the winner i'll post uh with your username obviously so uh yeah stay tuned for that and on that let's get cracking Okay, all right, so we'll start with uh, the Kabatin. I love the size of these tins too. They're really like mega. This is really large. It's cool. Okay, nothing in there. These tins are epic. That there, we got our, uh, that's nice. Put a little, uh, little bundle. How fantastic. The 2017 Megatins Mega Packs. These are epic. And if they were how they were in the other ones, you're gonna get one rare, one super, one secret, and one ultra rare in every pack, plus a bunch of common. So those are always a nice plus. I love Blue Eyes White Dragon. Oh, this is okay. That's where the proxy dragon. Pot of Desires, very cool. Yeah, these were uh, some epic promos. Okay. All right, well, uh, let's get cracking into these beautiful, ginormous 16 cards per pack booster packs. Let's see what we end up pulling today. And there it is. There's our first foil, our super rare. Foolish Goods is our secret rare. Very cool. And uh, what is it, the White Stone of Ancient, Ultra Rare, very cool. And then we end up getting our Rare. That's very nice. Like that, it definitely is very nice if you're going from opening older booster packs and you're having an incredibly bad luck pulling any kind of foils to going into these where you're guaranteed one of each. So, definitely a morale booster. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. The two Dark Magician. Very uh, beautiful, super rare. The Starving Venom there. Ooh. Did a really good job on the, the foils here. We have our rare. I wonder what the, I wonder what the promos are in the Yugi tin. You know more than I do. <laughs> I actually haven't seen, uh, I never watched any of the openings on these. Very cool. Oh, the dark magical circles are secret air. Very, very nice. Actually, a really good booster pack there. Very cool. I guess I'll, uh, I'll put the foils and the rares up here, and I'll separate the promos over there. I'll try to do a little comparison between the two here. 
Yeah, these tins are cool. Okay. On to Mega Pack tin number two. All right, so we have our promo pack here. Can we have proxy dragons in both? Paw Desires in both. Wow. Actually, I didn't know that. I didn't know that they put Paw Desires in each one. The tins are, the little uh, tokens are cool. <laughs> 16 cards per pack. Oh my gosh. Old brick packs are pretty awesome. I think before they put the rare as the first card, and then they went from there. Nice. So we end up getting a secret dimensional barrier. Actually, a very good at secret to get in here. A very good ultra to get, too. Nice. That was a really good pack. Dimension Barrier, depending on the format, it's just one of those kind of cards you can just like automatically win <laughs> just because you uh, you drew it and were able to resolve it. Oh, put the rare there. I actually have a friend that wants to, if I ever do an opening on tins, they want to keep the tins. I like, uh, <laughs> they like collecting them, so I am doing that for them. I would open up a ton of tins before and I'd actually give them over to my card shop and they would uh, give them off to um, people that play like uh, minis and they would actually custom customize, if they changed the tin they would actually customize it, they'd paint the, the tin with all these cool designs and everything on it, it's actually pretty epic and they put uh, foam inside it and be able to hold their uh, their minis figures, so actually that's, a, that's really neat. like that quite a bit. All right, for our last booster pack here. <laughs> it's like a, almost like a double pack, 16 cards. Only a two cards shy of <laughs> basically being, oh nice, totally awesome. Love the art when they release this card. It's a super epic card. I can't believe they actually, uh, <laughs> the people are doing really competitively playing a deck just based around it. You know, almost an old trap deck. I thought that was a, a joke at first until I actually saw it being played. I'm like, this is not a joke at all. That's actually really cool. Yeah, totally awesome. That was a really awesome seeker. Rare. <laughs> really awesome seeker to pull. Starring, totally awesome, in the control deck. <laughs> right on. Yeah, I actually have uh, no complaints at all. Whoa. It's infinite cards, is that, that's the one that hand size of each player becomes... Oh. Yeah, never mind. I read that wrong. There was a... <laughs> there's another one that's uh, infinite cards. You can you can uh, actually... Your hand has no card limit, so that's actually pretty handy. Alright, let's, uh, let's go through these. These, these uh, foils and rares. One last time. Totally awesome! Very cool card. Foolish goods. End up getting two of those in this in this opening, so that was pretty cool. Then we have our dimensional barrier. That was a good reprint. The dark magical circle. Really gorgeous looking spell seeker. Love the love the magician deck. Our first foolish goods. So yeah, I'm, not, I'm actually having a little torn here on which one. Let's lay these out. A little torn on which one's actually better. Maybe, maybe the Kaibun because of uh, Proxy Dragon. Depending on if you're using a deck that was playing it. Oh no, never mind. It gets it as well. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's a tough call. Well. 
There you go, it gives you a chance to be able to enter into the contest by dropping a comment down below letting me know what you think is the best promos from which one, Yugi or Kaiba, who won? <laughs> and uh, So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe bell, get notifications for future openings. And of course, follow me, there's a little link down below to, for my Instagram. And I'll post the comments of the next video, the, the winner, and then all you have to do is send me a message on Instagram with your address and I'll be able to ship off your booster pack. So thank you guys so much for watching and all the support. Love you guys. And on that, Jobber here is signing out.